name is Janetta Dobson, and today I would like to share with you a little bit about the 11th grade Algebra 2 course from BJU Press Homeschool. This course reviews and extends concepts from Algebra 1, like linear, quadratic, radical, and rational functions along with all their graphs, and many other systems of equations as well. Students also will study logarithms, trigonometry, matrices, sequences and series, probability and statistics, analytic geometry, and a new concept of conic sections. This course provides the mathematical foundation essential for many academic and career pursuits while keeping to a biblical worldview. There are thorough explanations provided for each concept taught while also emphasizing analytical thinking, real world applications, and critical thinking questions challenge advanced learners. In each lesson, there are, the text provides expanded explanations for every problem that they do. There's detailed step-by-step -step why they did what they did to solve that problem, okay? There are also A, B, and C exercises. Ah, a and then B and C are on the next page, okay? Which, and along with cumulative review, there's about 10 cumulative review questions at the end of every section. Those help us, the student, to remember what they've learned and also to tie into what comes in the next couple of lessons. At the end of every chapter, there is a cumulative review to help them solidify all that information that they learned during the chapter before they take their test. Um, there's other features in, this, in these chapters things like the Dominion Modeling, which I have here. This Dominion Modeling gives them a real-world problem to solve and shows them how to go about doing that, it helps them play with doing it in a controlled environment instead of being out there just trying to figure out how to do this without any basis for what they were doing. Um, other, fa other things in here would be um, sections on math in history and algebra around the world. The math and history sections are people, uh, key mathematicians throughout history and their contribution to math. Um, algebra around the world provides things, the mathematical development through the ages goes through that. Then there's um, the technology corners periodically. These technology corners show how to use um, spreadsheet software or the TI-85 calculator, how to use that for some of these function, these problems. Another th section in here includes the programming project. Every chapter has one and this is a great way to get them to practice their programming skills with spreadsheets to get them to do, which is a needed skill and many employers like to see that on their resumes. There's also after the chapter review, a section on college entrance test prep. This provides the student with experience in solving problems very similar to the ones found on college entrance exams, and it'll help promote their confidence in taking these exams. That's the student book. Now, the teacher book, like all the other Bob Jones teacher books, has met also a lot of key features. In every lesson, there are a lesson opener, things to get thinking about to go before you start teaching the lesson. And then interactive activities or motivational ideas. Internet keyword searches are in the book. This is where you can go, to, it tells you what keyword to type in to do an internet search to find more information about that topic if they have interest. There's one-on-one. -on -one sections and tips sections. These um, give you additional insights and methods to help the student if they're struggling. And the, the common errors section tells you how a lot of students make a mistake going through these things. There's also assignment lists in the book where it gives you breakdowns for minimum standard and extended students. So if you have a struggling student, 
maybe you do this minimum. If you have an average student, you do the standard. If you have someone who is definitely on college track for engineering or that, the extended, I would do the extended if it was my child. So, um, and the one other key fact, key thing in here that I really enjoy is the lesson plan overview. It hit, breaks it down for every chapter in the book so that you can know how many days it's going to take you for a lesson, what you need, and how to plan it out. So helpful. There is a CD in the back of the book. This CD has lots of visuals. The activity manual is on here with the answer key. There is a print ready answer key if you just want your students to see that those answers for the problems instead of the ones in your book. There's a Matherty game, very fun Jeopardy type game that the, a lot of students enjoy playing before they take their chapter, re, their chapter test. And there's lots of other resources on here for, this, for you as a teacher. Um, this is a great course that will place your student on the track for honing their ability to think abstractly and to solve those complex problems of the future. I've taught, this is the first year I taught this. I taught this all last year. I was so excited to go through it. A little scared, because it was a new edition, but I really enjoyed it, and I look forward to being able to teach it again sometime in the future. All right, thanks for listening, and have a good day. Bye.